Madeline Orlando and I graduated in 2020. I was not one of those people that was like, I'm, you know, from age five, I'm gonna be a lawyer, I'm gonna be in trial. I was not that. Um, when I graduated undergrad, I knew that I was still interested in learning and there were still academic things that I wanted to pursue. And law school felt like the next step. I took some pre-law classes in undergrad and I felt like those really fit with my way of thinking and my way of analyzing things. And um, I wanted to keep learning. It sounds very nerdy, <laughs> but I really enjoyed school and wanted to keep going. And um, that's why I ended up in law school. Yeah, so I was born and raised in Sacramento and always heard really great things about McGeorge and, you know, looking at law schools and kind of options on where to go after undergrad. Nothing really stood out like McGeorge. Um, I felt like it was a more personalized experience um, and to be back where I'm, you know, born and raised with my family, it just seemed like the most comfortable step for me. Yeah, so I'm an associate attorney at Greenberg Charig and I work in state and federal regulatory compliance for companies, uh, mostly focused on consumer products, but also in the tech and financial services industries. Yeah, I think that looking back on my academic experience, um, the thing that really stands out to me is not doing things just because you think other people would, you know, look at them and look at that on a resume and say that looks really good you know, do the things that you're interested in. If you're interested in a class or if you're interested in law review or mock trial, do those things. Not because you think that a prospective employer would really like that, but because you're really interested in those areas. You know, if you're pursuing something that you find fulfillment out of, that's gonna make you a better person. It's gonna make you a better law student. It's gonna add value to your academic experience and that's gonna make you feel more fulfilled and satisfied with your law school experience. And I think that ultimately is gonna shine through when you start you know, working professionally. So I would say, if there's something you're interested in, go for it. This is your one time <laughs> in law school. Who knows if they're gonna offer that class again, if there's gonna be the opportunity to write on, to law review, whatever it is, go for it. You're gonna feel better about it. You're gonna be happier with your experience. And I think that that's going to add more value to your life moving forward after law school than just doing something because you think an employer or you think, you know, what, the clerkship, whatever it is, is gonna be happy with you doing that. So that's, I would say that's my biggest piece of advice for law students. I did, yeah. You know, I felt like McGeorge had an environment that was very welcoming and very, you know, open to students exploring what they were interested in and provided the students with a lot of different opportunities to really set themselves up for success. And one thing that I think was really great about McGeorge was kind of the smaller class sizes and being able to really interact with your professors and really have meaningful discussions with your other students. And I think that plus, you know, the school really preparing the students for taking the bar exam and really making sure that the students have the best tools available to them to go out into the legal profession. I think that McGeorge was the best choice for me and really helped me um, in the start of my profession. Yeah, so that really stood out to me when I got that. <laughs> um, I had never heard of anything like that. And I think it really allowed me to stand out and really allowed me to kind of, you know, put my foot on the pedal and just go for it. Um, it was something that I don't think any other law school had offered and really just provided a u unique experience that I, I don't think that any other school could provide. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it was tough <laughs> fitting everything into some shortened uh, time periods, but I think that it really gave you a, you know, a, a extra experience to law school that other students don't have. And if you have that opportunity, I would 100% recommend it. You know, a law school can be really tough. And I think in the moment people are like, I gotta get through this, uh, these exams, all this stuff. Looking back, law school was such a great opportunity for you to just explore whatever it is that you wanna explore. And I look back on some of these classes that I took 
and being with like the experts in our field, you know, Professor Malloy, and I took a banking law class and I had no idea what any of that was. But now in my practice, I do a lot of regulatory, you know, kind of financial regulatory issues and that class like really kind of introduced me into those areas. So I think just, you know, taking it for what it is, it's gonna be tough, the exams are tough and all of that, but this is really an opportunity for you to just develop as a person and develop socially and academically and individually and I am really thankful for that time in my life because I think it set me up for where I am today um, and I wish I had more of it. <laughs> I wish I could go back and do all these classes again and just kind of hang out and like actually engage and listen and not be so worried about the bar exam and all that stuff, which is hard to say in the moment, but now I'm like, I would totally go back and do constitutional law again, just because it's super fun and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, don't, don't rush through it.